Hello everybody, welcome back to more Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. No, not Path of Radiance, it's Radiant Dawn. In the last chapter, one survives, the Black Knight appeared to save Micaiah from death. And now, with the former strongest general of Dan at our side, we move on to part one endgame. A figure from Dan's past appears unexpectedly in the night. A figure thought to have perished in the Mad King's War. The blood-stained right hand of the king himself. The mysterious Black Knight. The Black Knight protects Micaiah against Jared's cowardly surprise attack. However, Micaiah senses that Jared has one last move to make. Deprived of his chance to capture Micaiah, Jared abandons all notions of retreat or negotiation. Instead, he makes plans for revenge. He murders an emissary from his homeland of Benyon and reclaims control of Day and Keep. From within the Keep, he launches a savage barrage of catapult fire, all but destroying the castle town. The momentary peace that arrived with the Benyon Emissary shatters along with Navasa's walls, and the people of the city see their kin and their capital crushed under a rain of stone. This treachery proves too much for them, and their grief explodes into rage. Micaiah and company have pitched camp on a nearby hillside. When this merciless attack begins, its brutality leaves them lost for words. It's time, everybody. End game. Day in. Arise. Billion is attacking Nevasa. No, my parents live there. They're far too old and frail to defend themselves. My wife and kids are there too. That heartless murderer, Gerard, he just wants us to suffer into the bitter end. Prince Peleus, we have to do something. We must liberate Nevasa and save the people from this brutal attack. Is there no end to your lunacy? The ap <clears throat> Hold on a minute. Is there no end to your lunacy? The Apostle's envoy is nearly here. Why be rash when victory is so close? People are dying and Nevasa has already suffered more than enough. Do you really expect us not to lift a finger to help? If you will not help, then we will go by ourselves again. Wait, where are you going? You can't take the Lagoos and rush off on some harebrained mission again? Can't I? Of course not, you idiot girl. You've already been far too impulsive, acting without, acting without the prince's consent. And what do you think? Well, and do you not think I see what's happened? Your name has raised the lavish heights among the people of Dayan. Your name and yours alone. Why, even our own soldiers heap their praise on you like sugar on berries, sparing not a thought for their prince. Oh. Yep, as Jared said last time, Though the prince is here with us, the real person who leads the liberation is Micaiah. She is their light of hope. And then, even once the rightful king is crowned, the people still await the approval of their precious priestess of dawn. Why, if we are not careful, some calculating righteous might decide they'd rather see a priestess on the throne of the king. And once again, this country would be torn apart all because of your glory hunting disregard for our prince's command. Please, Azuka. Come to think of it, perhaps our priestess have been planning this all along, pretending to help the prince when in truth she seeks to wear the crown herself. <sighs> stop your tongue warm or my knife will stop it for you. The only one who seems to be too hungry for power, for power here is you. That's enough. Izuka, Micaiah, does not serve, deserve any such attack on her character. She is pure and noble, and I, I am inadequate. Have her actions poisoned your mind too, my prince? Since we met, Micaiah has led every battle, even joining the soldiers on the battlefield. Not so with me. I cannot defend my own people. How could our people not rally around her? They see her fighting, throw her lot in with their own. They respect her. That is that said, things cannot remain as they are. Azuka is right to worry about my standing. I need to earn my people's respect. Therefore, he must take action. Um, 
Soldiers of the Liberation Army, heed my... N no, no. Hear my words. I am Peleus, true Prince of Dan. Yes, we know who you are, my lord. We ought to know by now. <laughs> that laugh. And so, uh, so... Is he alright? Prince. Sir Knight? As he just commands the respect of every single person in this army with a single action like that. And so... And so, beloved friends and dear, and comrades dear, with thanks to you, our capital lies close. And if we do not act, if we turn back, the war still ends with us the victors proud, and Dane's rule still falls back to our hands. And so, if we choose to fight and free this town, we may enrage the Empire once again. Thus, Dane's fortune turns to so sorrow swift. But, but while I speak, Nevasa's hardship grows. Our brothers suffer, our sisters die, and... I shall not... I... I cannot ignore this tragedy. No man can, and certainly no prince. I cannot look away while my people suffer. And so I ask, I ask you all, please, will you join me? Long live the prince! Long live Prince Peleus! Long live Dave! It's time to save our country! Hey, talk about a morale boost. <sighs> Where are you going? And now we're at the base, and before we do anything else, what I would like to do is hand out this remaining bonus experience. We have quite a bit, actually. Um, so how am I going to do this? We have two unpromoted, three unpromoted units. So Leonardo, I'm going to get him to level 19. <coughs> Really? Is that it? I wish his speed was a little higher. I uh, will get Ileana up. No, I'm gonna get Aaron to level 19. And therefore, Aaron just maxed out two stats right there. Ileana will go up one level. That's fine. Um, hmm. So we have a Master Seal that we can use. Do we have two, hopefully? I don't think so. I'm gonna use this master shield on Leonardo so he can finally promote two? A... Not that. Leonardo is finally a sniper. And look at those stat gains. He gained a speed point, too. This Leonardo's looking a lot better than the one I had in my previous playthrough. He only had eight defense. But right now, this Leonardo's looking pretty nice. I like it. Um... Manage skills. I'm taking Paragon off Makai since she no longer need needs it. And I'm going to give it to Edward, since he can use it now. Leonardo still can. Well, Leonardo could, actually, and that would probably help him a lot, but, hmm. We'll see. I might change it later. Um. Let's see what the shop has. A lot. They have another Master Seal, but I don't have the money because I'm broke and poor. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Info conversations. I forgot about that. I found this while I was looking out, I think. Desert in the Ruins. This is why I like Volug, because he went... Hold on. Yes, he went back to the desert just to get us a blue gem. This man is awesome. Just to help with funds. And we have Fiona here, who's probably not going to be seeing any type of action. Yes, yes. Now we get a funny tome. 
so now let's go to the shop and sell this blue gem that Volube was so kind enough to give us. We also have, what else did I see? Oh, we have a Seraphrog, I forgot about that. Raphael has that, I should probably give that to somebody. Okay, I'm gonna keep it in the convoy for now. Um, I'm gonna give this all the grass to Volug. I'm gonna strip Miriam and his weapons. Oh yeah, before I forget, I'm gonna remove Celerity off Tormod. And I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna have Celerity in here. Armory... I need to sell... You know what I can sell? I'm gonna sell Tormod stuff. No, not Liana stuff. So I'm not gonna be using Tormod. Um... I need Pass. I need Beast Foe. I definitely need Beast Foe. I'm thinking here. See how is the Killing Edge. I really want that, uh, freaking thing. I just don't know what to sell. I don't know if I can sell anything. Uh, support. How is that looking? Open up the support. That's nice. So let's do that. I don't want to sell any of Tornado's weapons. Um, you know what? I'm going to cut things off here. Because we have a really long map ahead of us. So, I will see you guys in a moment. This is going to be part one of probably part five, because we have a really long map ahead of us. <laughs>